GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zlot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Stable Branch series. Uh, I have got the base up to the point where I want to power it up. I've got all the stuff built, and I'm going to show you around in kind of a flurry. <clears throat> First, what I want to do is I want to take a nap. I'm tired. It's been a long day. We're going to sleep. Excellent. Okay. Um, oops. Turn my jetpack on. Turn my light on. So we have a new day. Woo! Right now we have our base with the turret mounts ready to go out there. We have all the turret mounts up top on the buildings. We have doors in. I've moved all the equipment out of here because this is strictly just going to be um, this is strictly just going to be a reinforced bunker. So this is I've now boosted this to a maximum 32,000 storage units. Um, and so this is going to be my valuables and my enter my uh, generators. Uh, the cores down here too, underneath these containers here somewhere. So I will be also upgrading all the that at least to to. Uh, um, armored concrete same with all the stances for the for the turrets I'll be upgrading armor concrete also so oh it looks like I missed did I miss that one over there look at that I did okay so so let's reconnect to our base large building blocks here and that way we can pick this up and yeah I missed that one okay that's fine. Let's put it in then. It was this one, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Like that. There we have it. Okay. That matches up now. Did, wait, did I miss one over here too? Nope, just the shadows. Just the shadows. So what kind of day is it? It's cloudy. Great. That's fine. Um, okay. We don't need that anymore. Let's put those blocks. We don't need those blocks anymore either. We have a few spares, container extensions. That's good because we're going to need them for the ammo box that we're going to build. We've put the... This is where the furnace is going to go. It'll fit in there just nice and snug. And that this will keep us, we'll still be able to access it from here, but we can, we won't burn, put it that way. Okay, this is going to be our construction, deconstruction room. So I'm going to put a deconstructor down over here, as long as it's, I'm pretty sure it's the same size. Anyway, um, now I've reserved this spot for cargo boxes. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them yet or not, but we could get a decent amount of of uh, the 2 by one cargo boxes in here. So, so it's something to think about. I think we can put like nine of them in here or something. Okay. We can also put cargo, you know, along the walls on the outside and stuff, make it look a little bit more industrial, I guess, instead of so clean looking um, kind of like how it's looking right now over here and stuff I like the industrial look of it so far and we'll get uh, we'll get the texture it's going pretty quick here okay so I have built oh is that all done where did I put it now you know what I think it's in the whole mole yes Okay, so let's connect to the whole mole. So that we're controlling the whole mole. Good. We can now put this in our bar. 
Uh, I didn't have the mats to make the bigger ones. At least I didn't want to spend the mats on making the bigger ones. I think the we can we can eventually pop those out if we need to. Whatever. Whatever. We'll probably this isn't this is just our starting base, and it's crazy how our starting base has to be so massive now. I can just imagine if we did an underground base. It's going to be way different when I do an underground base. I'm going to have to do a tower, a real tall tower with uh with like turret crenellations all along the height of it so that uh we can get things that are like crawling along the ground sometimes these drones come in really low now okay um we also got to re put the wireless back on <clears throat> and then once we do that let's Oh, you know what? We can transfer all the goodies now. Let's transfer the goodies. We're going to transfer goodies here. We, what did I hit the wrong button? Um, I'm going to transfer from my whole mole now all that stuff over to... Actually, you know what? Let's... let's. Um... How's my whole mole doing here? Sixty-five hundred. Okay, so I still got lots of, lots of weight it can have. These aren't that heavy, are they? Twenty-five. Five hundred. Well, that's uh. Those are heavy. And then, so they're basically the same weight as the uh, generators. The generators are two blocks technically. These are only one block and half the weight. So, yep. <clears throat> Very heavy. You can't pick, you could pick that up if you had nothing. You could pick one of the fuel tanks up if you had nothing else. But you can't pick the generator up, other than having a cargo box to leverage. Okay, so should we just, let's just temporarily, um, let's just temporarily put the stuff back for a second. We're going to transfer. We're going to go into the base now. The large blocks. Let's put those there. Get that in there. Get that in there. Uh, and then we're going to go into the construction materials. And just dump all that into there. How's that doing? 23,000. We still got tons of space. Good. I was getting a little worried that we we're going to but once these stacks get start getting filled up, that weight's going to climb real high. You, you betcha it's going to be super full. I mean, if it isn't, not a big deal. We can remove blocks from it. We can, so it's not like wasting space, right? <clears throat> um, it would be nice if the base block came with like the 64 slots and then each extension came with one more and then this was a slider wouldn't that be cool huh 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 i think they should do that i think that's totally what they should do so that you'd end up with like an overall space of what 120 127 or 128 uh slots right because i think you can put 64 64 in total so it would be it'd be 127 slots in your in your uh, construction in your controller if you had all the extensions give you one extra slot <clears throat> I don't see why not I, I think that would be kind of cool then that actually be a lot more handy people are really miffed about that 64 pieces on these <laughs> 64 slots on these it's like okay well you know they're just a giant cargo box they have the same amount of slots they're just way bigger is all whatever well 
I think what we want to do is we want to keep transferring all of our big stuff. So there, I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. So let's let's do the connect to construction materials. Is it not? Oh, because we got to be over here now. So the player has to be over here. And then what you're connecting to has to be over here. I don't want large blocks. I want construction materials. So I'm going like this. And then I'm going like this. And I'm going to grab this stuff. Oh, okay, I'm going to grab this stuff. <laughs> and grab this. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. Okay, and then we can Wi-Fi all that up. Now, I should technically, this is a lot of stuff to risk right now. If I disconnect, it should all just go in here. If it doesn't, it bugs out and vanishes. <clears throat> well, what I'll do if it, if it vanishes, if it completely bugs out and just disappears, I'll stop the recording, I'll see... I'll take a look to see how much it was and I'll come back in. We'll start recording again and I'll item menu it back in and we'll know that we can't do that because it's still bugged. So here we go. This is what I'm going to attempt in there. <sighs> Yay! It went in. I saw it go in. Yay! Now it didn't, it didn't completely stack though, did it? Maybe it did. That didn't stack properly, though. That did. That's weird. Okay, whatever. That stacked. No, not completely. Huh. I don't know. That didn't stack. 100%. So, there's a little bit of... Me Is there a... This, there, there would be a real good thing if we could do, like, an organize here or something. And it would pre, it would like stack like a stack button, because I think that's a little cumbersome if it if you pull stuff in and it doesn't stack. <clears throat> we'll see if we can do that, but I don't think we can because we can't lift all the weight and put it in our backpack. We could transfer it to something else and then try the transfer. You know what? It just sounds like a bunch of time wasting. Let's not bother. So, oh right, we're disconnected. We've got to reconnect. I just wanted to see if disconnecting was going to um, screw us up. And it and it now actually put it back where it's supposed to, so that's good. Uh, we, we can just grab it all now, I think. It should be fine. The way to... Yeah, there's enough slots here, too, anyway. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh, and there's our capacitor. Okay. That's funny. It doesn't take up any volume but it it weighs two tons <laughs> i'm carrying it around in my backpack uh, i'm sure they're gonna address a bunch of those stuff of <laughs> that stuff pretty quick okay so if i just f in to the same thing we're okay so now if i so i it would be nice if i could just right click into it so why don't we just go like this again and did it stack it stacked with that i saw it stack there I saw it stack with stuff. It doesn't stack fully though, eh? That's weird. It's a little weird. Yeah, a little weird. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got a decent amount of mats here too, as you can see. Uh, we've got all the carbon substrate, we've got the plant fibers, we've got all the wood logs. Oh, we don't need this in there. So let's take that out of there. And we need the, oh no, we don't need hardened steel plates. We need, we need just regular steel plates for all the upgrades. And we need a whole bunch of, of dust. Oh, you know what? Let's, um, let's connect in. We can make a whole bunch of concrete then. Yeah, I've already got a ton of substrate, so let's 
Okay, let's fry all this, and we'll turn all of this into concrete. Turn all that into concrete. Just whatever it can do. <clears throat> because we need that for upgrading all the concrete. Uh, I'm only going to be upgrading that one structure here and then and the um, and the mounts for the turrets. Okay, so <laughs> now we got stuff in there. We can actually you can see how constructors work now. So this one says assign container from drop down. Sure, let's do the construct construction material ones. Um, we can also assign a different output if we want right now I think that should be fine there's there's enough space in there that whatever we're making should be fine uh, eventually we'll be assigning other outputs and we gotta move those we'll move those <clears throat> see we could like go right into large blocks which is probably a better idea if we're gonna be making turrets and stuff yeah we'll select the large blocks as our output right now and the great thing is is I can go and let's say I queue I'm like get something queued up here so this is going to be the turrets let's say we've got our projectile turrets for base we're going to make 10 of those and then on this one we can queue up the we can go to the exact same place to draw from and we can go into a different input now uh, let's say we wanted to go into something else right now I just need um, I'll just put it into its own we can just go into input and that's what its default we'll just put it back into itself <clears throat> or you know what no let's uh, let's do construction uh, large blocks again because I'm gonna make come on I'm gonna make the SVHV, the base, here it is. Container controller, because I've got a bunch of those extenders, so we're going to make, I don't know if, I could probably get away with just making one. And then the extenders I got will be fine. So let's, let's make one. And we've already got extenders, so after it starts making those, I want it then to make ammo for them. So we're going to do 15 mil bullets, and we're going to need a ton. So, whew, I want 10,000, maybe even 20,000. That's a lot. I mean, that's going to eat you up a lot of resource. Let's start with 10,000. <clears> okay, so the other thing, too, is I need to upgrade all the... Oh, um, yeah, I need to upgrade the panels. You know what? We're not going to do these. We're not going to do those. We'll let it do the uh, turrets. We can put the turrets on later. Uh, what we really need is upgraded solar panels. So we're going to make an, an additional, I don't think it'll ever need it, but an additional <laughs> solar capacitor. And then we're going to make the larger of the panels. We're going to make 15 of these because we didn't loot any. And if we do, we'll just throw them into the uh, blueprint factory. So we're going to make 15 of those. So we've queued up 15 of those. So once we power up the base, it's automatically going to start start making this stuff and spitting it out into the large blocks container. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, and then I can get it. After I've got it to do that, then I'll get it to do the ammo. Okay. There we go. I want it in that order. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. This is going to be scary. You know what? Let's move this so that it's at a better vantage point. Get this all fueled up. Oh, it's fueled up enough. How much ammo do we got? 
3,800. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. So, miniguns are on. Let's turn the engines on just to uh, we'll get this into position here. So, we'll, we'll put this out here just in case they get they come out wide around. We'll put this out here. But we're going to face it that way because we've got the uh, the side turrets. Okay. Now we can just... Okay, stop that. <laughs> and then we'll turn the engines off. We've got everything else on. Okay, so let's make sure that the turrets on this are set properly. Because I'd hate for them to not be ready. NPC factions, drones. Okay. If they're ready to go, make sure they're active. They're ready. They should shoot down drones. Okay. Let's jump out of there. So we got that one there as a backup. <clears throat> this one here is going to be our main defender with the four turrets. So let's move him. Oops. Turn the engines on. Let's manage. Do some management here. We can go in from the from here and we can Oh, we can't select fuel from that side. So so really we need to go in from this side to select the fuel. Okay. So this is the fuel. I want to do the fuel. Then we can select base. And there's the fuel here. I'm just going to top that up. Easy peasy. I'm really liking the interface. I don't know why people don't like it. I, I, uh, you can't please everyone, can you? Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking right here. I can do, I can do everything that I need to using this thing from here. Let's, um, Let's just turn it to the side just a bit so that the turrets don't shoot each other. And we still got coverage with the side turret, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do I want to actually turn the engines off on this? No. But I do want it lowered. What did I have it at? What did I have it at? 23, that's fine. I just want it lowered so that it's easy to get in and out of right now. Okay. You guys ready? Freaking rain, of course. It's going to be a miserable day for us. Okay, so let's connect into our bases, large blocks. We still are. No, we're construction mantles. Why why can't we? Oh right, because we have to be on this side. Oh, I gotta get used to that now. They flipped that. Now I gotta get used to it. <laughs> I just got used to it on this side. Now I've gotta get back used to it again. The way it used to be. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's do this. So we got a generator. We got a generator. We've got four fuel tanks. And we've got the capacitor device. Let's just throw it down there. Okay, so we're going to do two generators. Let's put them up against the standing up. But that way, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a generator, and then we'll do... Uh, Uh, yeah, that should be fine. We'll do the fuel tanks, and then we'll cover that with, we'll do a generator, and then we'll do, okay, the fuel tanks are going to trigger it. You guys ready? You guys ready? Actually, let's trigger it with the, uh, 
with the capacitor device. You guys ready? You guys ready? Here we go! And stop that camera. We'll put that in and we're going to fuel that up. And so fuel and we can just grab the fuel from the base and base fuel and we'll just dump a bunch in. Okay. Now it didn't trigger it. It didn't trigger it. That's interesting. Last time it triggered it, I think before I even fueled it or before I turned it on. Oh, there it goes. Didn't turn it on yet. See that? Well, let's turn it on. I just hit Y right now because I was standing on my base and that's the quick shutdown turn off for anything you're standing on. So, okay, here we go. The constructors are queued up. They are now constructing stuff. Our, we should actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's go into our weapons here and get a weapon going. See, right now we've got projectile turrets queued up and base panels being built nice and it just built that one okay so that's in the large blocks excellent I can go put that in while we're waiting for the drones I have a feeling that my that the whole mole is going to take it out before we even know that it's uh, that it's getting close I don't even think it's going to show on up on the radar Okay, so from here, we can do the blocks thing. Whoops, base. Uh, oh, wait, we got we got to be on this side, right? And then we go, we're connected already. We can just go like this. And you can see it's making solar panels for us, which is excellent because we're going to we're going to go out and oops, that's the wrong one. Just hit O, get back into this panel and we're going to put this in. Now we've got a safe little room that we can come in and hide if things get a little bit hairy, I guess, once we upgrade that. So any time the drones should be showing up, that's a long way off though, right? It is a long way off. Okay. Um, we should eat something. Let's go into the... Uh, we got over here we've got the whole mole we've got the fridge on the whole mole ooh ooh no we we need to be uh we need to be cooking some stuff up so i can't cook stuff up from here i gotta go still and queue it up from the constructor i can't i was i could try and do it from i might have been able to actually the control panel you can get Oh, there it is. Oh, let's uh, let's help him. Let's help him. Base attack drone, you are down. So my turrets didn't even shoot. That sucked. <laughs> uh. fine I didn't have anything in my bar did I if I did it should drop back into the well okay well let's loot it well that didn't really take that long so we actually are not connected to anything and that makes us oh okay that's fine that's not too bad well that was our first base attack drone. We need to get these uh, turrets up now. And what we can do is, because it's... This thing better freaking defend us. Did I... You know what? I didn't actually go in and check out to make sure that this thing was set up properly. Did I? 
Maybe that's why it didn't work. Pray. No, that looks all good, too. Yeah, that looks totally fine. Any guns are on. Turrets and weapons. The drills are considered a weapon because it because if you turn the drill on, it turns these on. See, watch. I don't, I don't know why they consider that a weapon, but it falls into the same switch category. Turn all your drills and weapons off at the same time. It's like, okay, whatever, fine. Okay, we were going to make a... What did we need? Food. Food. Right. So, the mobile constructor do the fridge and output to the fridge that's fine let's make some of those yeah we'll just make 10 we're gonna keep this thing running for a while so okay so we have a hundred meter range connection on that and a hundred, we, we actually a lot less on our base, but once we get over to the other panels, we'll reconnect. <clears throat> and I want to actually try something. I have no idea if, where is it? I have no idea if, how many of these can we put down? Max range, can we put these like all over the base? On the perimeter of the base? I don't know. I didn't, I've never tried. Is that going to increase the range? Or does that only increase the range from where the core was? We need to, we need to go try this. And we need to put these panels out. So what we're going to do is we are going to connect to our large blocks. And, oh, you know what? You know what? We can't right now. We're going to disconnect as soon as we leave. Um, let's just eat something really quick here. Let's, let's eat something one of the fridge. Nope, not that fridge. That one. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're golden. Get our gun out just in case. We should be pretty safe here. There's that... Nothing spawned around here in quite a while now. I'm not really sure. I guess it has something to do with the... Can we get this, the third Wi-Fi? Come on. Oh, we might have... We lost Wi-Fi to one of the things. Let's see. What did we lose Wi-Fi to? We've got Wi-Fi to the base, so that means we lost Wi-Fi to the whole mall. Yeah. Okay, because we're 158. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to do base, large blocks, and we're going to connect. And now we can actually pick all these up. And you know what? I want to do the wireless connector out here, too. I'm going to connect it to these guys out here, too. So, uh, nope, that wasn't it. We want number one. And so, hmm, how do we want to do this? I think we just want to lay these flat again, don't we? You know what? Let's do an N. Connect to base because I want to move this up over here a bit. We're up on the flats here. Can we get far enough? Maybe not. Ah, that slope is killing me. <sighs> I guess I could put it down on the beach. That's not a bad idea. I'll be able to extend out, but I'm not going to extend out this side. So, yeah, let's see how far we can stay connected to the base. Yeah. 
letting us do it. But I knocked the Wi-Fi off, so I'm not sure why we're still... I think it's because now the base is taking up this whole square area where it wasn't doing that before, right? So, okay, well, whatever. Let's put this down. Stay connected to it now. Six, six, six. One, two, three. Come on. I think we'll do five rows of three here if we can. Gotta go knock those other ones off. That's fine. We'll do that. And what I also wanted to do was try and extend. See, we can put this out here. Let's do that. You're, no, I'm not. Oh, it'll be the 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 other vehicle over there. I was getting too far away from. So, can we? can like shove this under here yeah we can look at that let's do that cool we're gonna have to see if we can put more Wi-Fi's around the place nice okay so Stay connected to the base, no problem now. Let's nuke this down. And we'll just retrieve. I can throw them in the factory. Or a deconstructor once we get a deconstructor built. Oh, actually, is that going to break if I do that one? Let's do this one. There we go. Okay, so now... So those would have automatically went into the box that I'm connected to. As you can see, they are not in my backpack. So that's very cool. And then we'll finish off using the large ones here. Continue using the same thing here. So let's stretch it out this way. Or did we put... We got one on over there, so we'll do the three over here. Or are they going to be in the buried? Uh, it's not too bad. It is kind of buried, though. I don't like the look of that. Didn't want that to happen. I was hoping it wouldn't. That's okay. You know what? Let's just do it anyway. It's just a smidge. It's not that bad. These ones in. Come on. Oh, fine. There we go. Okay, so we have our large panels up. We have the base powered up. We have stuff being made. We got a Wi-Fi, you know what, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Let's um, let's get our weapon out again. Let's see how far we can actually get from the portable constructor now. Oh, there. There it goes. Yep. Two, that was 200. So it extended it by another 100. Because I used to only be able to go 100 before with the previous Wi-Fi in the center. So there we go. I think we can put those around the perimeter. And we could just bury those. Do the uh, maybe put little uh, welcome boxes with a LCD screen. <laughs> welcome to Zealotland. If you are reading this. 
uh, he let you live. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, cool. I think we're going to leave this episode off here. Uh, we did pretty good. We got uh, the first drone-based attack. Just no problem. Uh, I don't know why my my vessel didn't do it, but whatever. We got the larger panels all set up. We got a Wi-Fi out by where the panels are, which is good. So when we're coming in that way, we'll pick up Wi-Fi quicker. We need to extend Wi-Fi out pretty much. I'm going to put one over probably at the base of each of the farthest extent of those turret bases. Okay, so now, what did we have in there? That would, we had stuff being put in here now. Yeah, right, the ammo controller, the cargo controller for the ammo. Um, and then we can put container extensions. So maybe, maybe that's a good spot in here for the ammo then. Maybe that's a good spot for the ammo against that wall. We'll just we'll just make a massive because I plan on putting a whole bunch of turrets on this as much as I can and like a whole bunch of ammo. So I think I think we're gonna need like a one large one and then a bunch of just singles or something, right? So uh Yeah. Let's do a large one for the fifteen mil, I think it's gonna require some excessive amounts. Because that's going to be, it's going to need 10,000 storage units to hold 10,000 rounds of 15 mil. So we're going to need a big, yeah. Well, it's going to need more than just its just itself, right? 10,000, that's more than just one. So let's go in. What am I doing? I keep going into the wrong interface. I'm just so not used to that. Okay, so I think we're gonna, we're just gonna bury this back wall in cargo box extensions. And, oh, drones are on their way again. Um, that's okay, let's put the controller there and then we'll put the other, we'll get this sorted. And then now that, now that I have an ammo box, pretty decent one too, I bet. 120,000. So that might just be all we need. I could put like three more things in there and that'll make it uh, lots, lots and lots. Okay, so I want to make sure that this next bit of drones coming in let's do O oh, get our weapon ready I want to make sure that the drones coming in my turrets are going to take care of so we're just going to sit here And patiently wait. No, you know what? I'm going to go down to my hover height of what, what, what did I have it at? Like one or something, one meter. 90, 0.95, that's fine. Come on. Come on, anytime now. I mean, they're a lot faster now, which is great. Which is fantastic. Yeah, I know. See, we can't get very far. Where did where did we lose the Wi-Fi?
basically right here once we got past here so once we, we'll check out to see once these drones are dealt with okay come on the other thing too is this is the second wave I don't know what the behavior is I just want to see where they're at, see what it is, if it's a bomber or not. Okay, they're taking forever. But I guess that's a long ways to go. <laughs> I guess that's a long ways to go, right? Okay, well, we'll, we'll let them come. We'll let them come at us. In the meantime, we should get... Uh, maybe get some turrets set up then. The thing is, as soon as I set up the turrets, it's an unlimited wave, I think. And they just keep escalating and escalating and escalating. I don't have an SV built, so we can't really help out that much other than in this thing. Eh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get, let's get it, uh, Let's get it set up. So we can go in, we can look at the large blocks now. We've got 10 projectile turrets. And what did it do? Where did it put my ammo? Did it? Oh, I know. It put the ammo in the construction materials, didn't it? Didn't make it. Why didn't it make it? That's not full. Get ammo. Large blocks. Did I not make the ammo? Okay, I didn't make the ammo. Crap. Well, um, oops. Let's raise our hover <laughs> height a bit here. Stop derping. Um, crap. Well, the drones will be here any second. And I didn't make the uh, ammo. Okay, so let's, let's trust in our turrets. Trust in our turrets. No, no, I don't want it to hit. Just free there. Trust in our turrets. Trust in our turrets. We're going to make a run for the constructor. Oh, here they come already. one anyway okay are my turrets not going to do anything oh yeah they are and before they can shoot well they're still coming towards me even though it's spinning in a circle that's pretty awesome holy crap they take forever to shoot down and here comes another one and, okay, so I slow it down pretty quick. It can't shoot while it's spinning around. So there we go. Okay, my turrets are working. Good. I was, I was a little worried about that. I was a little worried about that. Okay, so I'm going to get all the stuff together. Let's loot this. I'm going to get all the stuff together that I needed to, like ammo. We're going to get that all into the ammo boxes. I just want to loot these here. Because the loot is very precious. It's precious. Precious to me. Okay. So, I'm going to leave the episode off here. We've successfully powered up the base, defended it. Next episode, we're actually going to take it one step further and put turrets up, and that's going to send an endless wave, an endless escalating wave into us, and we'll see if we can handle it. Uh, it should be really cool. We should have continuous waves of drones coming in. 
I should have enough resources to pull it off. So let's let's see here. Let's let's park this again because this needs to be here. Obviously, I'm just gonna put it to the uh, just gonna put it to the side here. We're gonna level off. That way, both my turrets can. Nope, no, not on the ground. Come on, there we go. A little bit higher. Come on, there we go. Thank you. I just don't like being locked on the ground if I want to jump in my vehicle and move really quick. I know it's consuming fuel, but meh. When it's nice and flat like that, HVs are actually pretty conservative. They their thrusters don't kick in. So they don't they don't conserve as much fuel as you might think. As long as they're not as if they're on a level ground and they're leveled off, they, they don't conserve that much fuel. It's not too bad. Okay, so Let's, now we can go into our construction queue from anywhere on the base just by doing the um, control panel. But, so now we have everything going in large blocks there. What we need to do is we're going to change this right now. Or, wait, why? What was this one building? Oh, that's right. I never queued up any ammo, did I? I dequeued it. And that's not Dairy Queen, did I? I dequeued it. Okay. I don't see the ammo. So let's change this to uh, container controller ammo. And then we are going to put 10,000 rounds into there. Nice. And it just automatically feeds it in. How sweet is that, eh? Okay, next episode, we're going to put the turrets out and see what sort of drone base attacks we start getting then. They should start escalating to insanity. Uh, also, since that one's occupied making ammo for a while, let's... Let's, um, we need some more stuff. We need, we need like, we need more of these wireless connections. I want to put those around the base, in, around the base. Yeah. All over the place around the base. That way it should extend out our signal quite far. And what I can do is I'll do the connect to base to put those down. So it'll be like at max range. Let's make like, I don't know. What is it? Electronics. Volume 25. Let's see. doesn't say what the energy in is. It doesn't say what the energy in is. It's like there's no energy in. Huh, the air trait, too. That's, that's cool. Huh. Well, I don't know. That's weird. That's kind of weird, eh? Yeah, we can take the HV around and, and uh, place those around. That's cool. So that'll be something we do. Uh, we're going to be placing the turrets. We're going to be placing the wireless around. So we're, we're going to be creating a wireless perimeter and a defensive perimeter with the turrets. And what else? What else do we need to make? We need... Oh, made those already. Okay. Uh, we can make all the SV parts now too. Woohoo! We can make SV parts. Obviously not all of them. I didn't unlock all of them, but whatever. We got we we'll we'll be able to make a good um, container SV for shipping with warp capable. So uh, we need an ATM to put those ridiculously heavy credit cards into. Ooh, we could make a repair station right now. Holy crap! Really?
I think I might want to do that. What about console? Can we make the console? We're not even close to learning it. Yeah, we're not even close to high enough level to learn it, so it's not showing it to us. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we don't need ventilators because this is a oxygenated planet. We're going to need a bunch of grow lights. I don't know. A bunch. It's a pretty decent size room. I'm looking at Um. What else? We should do a courtesy O2 with O2, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. It's not something we need. Oh, we need more armor lockers. They don't hold very much. It's really disappointing. We also need some shutter doors. Uh, two of those, to be precise. One for the uh, cargo, one for the... Or one for the construction room here, constructor shed. And one for the... I don't know. One for something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Let's just... Make it. And then what else? We need We need I don't know. Oh, stairs to get up into the Yeah, where are those? Those are blocks, right? We need stairs. We'll just do the concrete. Okay. Uh, oh, um, we're going to need a food processor and a couple of fridges. Okay, so how's my fuel doing? Not too bad. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're also... Let's take a look at our statistics here. Um, so our battery. Oh, I never got to see if, if we had gotten any battery from, because we were too, I was too occupied, if we had gotten any battery juice from those five that I had out forever. Uh, ever, so 89, we're consuming quite a bit right now with the two constructors going. We'll have to feed the fuel but right now it's got shitty output because it's nighttime so the sun's going to be coming up soon and that'll be cool so next episode perimeter and trigger the real hardcore attacks that I think Alpha 9 has hinted at that that could be coming so we're going to have to deal with a barrage of attacks while we build the SV. And I think that's what we're going to do. So, so awesome. We also need to build a garden. Oh, there's so much we got to do now, now that we've got an active base here. This is so good. This is so good. It's all nice and cozy in here. Yep, 22 degrees. And that's the other thing, too. We've, uh, We've now got environmental protection in this room. I should have made windows. I might still make windows. I might punch in some combat, some uh, armored windows. So we got to get the all the stuff in there, fridges and stuff. I can do all that down here. We can make a little bar in here. We can get a bed. This will be our little bedroom, healing room, bar, kind of a, a bachelor suite, <laughs> kitchen, everything, you name it. But uh, that'll be next episode, guys. So I'm going to spin up, keep spinning up stuff to, to put out on the base. And we need large cargo boxes. We need lots of stuff still. Yeah. But we're we're actually in good shape now. Like we're we're happening. Well, guys, until next episode.
You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.